Now then, what I've got here is the contents of my polytunnel, all the bits and bobs. And what I want to do today is unbox a polytunnel. Yes, just to get it in, to get it all so I can kind of visualize everything. I want to show you what you actually get in a box when you buy a polytunnel and what, what actually comes as well. So stick around and we'll, we'll see what's in the magic box. So I also want to show you outside as well what you get. Now obviously you get your, your polytunnel, your, your plastic as well, but these are the kind of the hoops that go in the joint. So you can see how big these things are. You know what I mean? So one of them ends will go in the ground and then they'll join at the middle with the kind of metal bar running through. We get, now I've got the wood there just so I've got it and it's all kind of taken care of. So I've got the timber for the, the actual frame and for the doors as well. So I'm putting two single doors, you know, like one, one on one side, one on the other side. So I've got enough timber for that. Now those are the foundation tubes, as you can see. So I think you kind of knock them in and I've actually got to go and get one. I haven't got one because everyone was saying it when Dan was knocking down the hood, he was knocking down the hood with like a little toffee hammer. So I'm away to go and buy a, like a sledge hammer so we can knock them poles in. And I think you leave around about 15, 15 inches maybe, some of like that up or 15 centimeter. I have to read the, read the instructions, Tony, so you can get it up. And, you know, so it's kind of knocked in and you can add the poles, the cross pipes in. Right, now there's a big pack there. And it's so heavy, all this. Oh. Now I got two cross beams as well, which go along, you know, from, say, a, a quarter of the way down the hoop from the middle and the top across, you know, it's hard to kind of describe, but you know what I mean, I hope. <laughs> so I've got some there, and then we've got the actual middle runners as well, and they're all kind of labelled. That's the good thing as well. It's like a, it's kind of big, like a big puzzle to put together. So that's really it. Do you know what I mean? I didn't want to kind of, and like I say, I've got to get Dan up to speed as well, but I want to just make sure it's all ready to go for her. And you know, probably the plastic will not get on that day. But if we can get the frame up, then it's a step closer, do you know? So what do you get in the box when you, you buy a polytunnel, do you know what I mean? Yes, we get the plastic, everyone knows about that. But I wanted to, and especially just for my own sake as well, to fight, you know, to lay everything out, to get it all sorted. And I spoke to Sean, where I got these from, this, these, this polytunnel, direct plans. And Sean says, just make sure, if you, if you get one from, you know, you lay it all out, you make sure that you understand all these little bits of parts. Cause when you, you know, I mean, I presume when I open this box, there's a lot of parts in there and it's not as just, you know, don't rush it. Just make sure you get, you get accustomed to it. So let's just get into this box and see what, what's in it. So I'm hoping this will kind of help most folks. You know what I mean? Cause you don't actually see, you know, you see people putting it up, but there's a lot of work before that, trust us. There you go then. The, the instructions there, there we go. And like I say, again, Sean from Direct Plans just says just any polytunnel, do you know what I mean? Just read it, read it, read it. Make sure you kind of totally understand it. And it, not hell with big colour photographs, mind you. Do you know what I mean? That's what I want, big colour photographs. I'm guessing this is that hot tape. This is the tape that goes over the polytunnel, over the tubes, just to stop the sun and the, you know, the, the kind of polythene coming into contact and it just stops that hot, hotness on the, on the pipes. So I get two of those rules and oh, look what I get as well. This stuff, this is just first class. We all love brand new polytunnels, you know, we all love that kind of nice tight drum-like feel look, but they do get the little hole in. Do you know what I mean? No matter what, the, the rip comes the, the, after the years. Look at the state of my old one. This stuff, man, is just brilliant. Do you know what I mean? It's 
it's just rock solid when you stick it on it's just a, a solid bond it's great stuff so i recommend that you know what i mean if you can get some of that anyways you know what i mean just have it handy for a polytunnel right then here we go <laughs> what's in here so roof hoop clamps let's have a look what these are so what i'm going to do is just put everything on the table get really to know it i've got dan coming over tomorrow the, the daughter's boyfriend there and we're going to go through and have a look right let's get this out oh right so i'm keeping the labels as well these are roof hoop clamps and there we go so we get two of them there we so i'm guessing oh what a, that must be the way they go, do you know what I mean? For the bars coming in and out, and then you've got the hoops coming either side as well. Nice big bag of nails and screws there. That's a weirdy thing there. That's, that's covered me because I you know, get everything stuck in with that. What else we got? Oh, this is a heavy one swivel clamps these are swivel clamps that i'm reading on the on the direct polytunnels plants on the on the site is these connect like your cross beam members you know so you've got your polytunnel up your hoop up and then along the side you can have some like cross beams coming down and actually going across at the on the roof as well so there's your hoop ones there what else is it? i think this is another one there so is that more Sw more swivel oh loads of swivel clamps so that's a swivel clamp there you go and it's and i only got this from liz as well liz says the screws are in it so if you look on all of these fi fix and that's a weirdy bit of that's what you want man that's actually the screw although it looks like just a thread it's got the i don't think you can see there the kind of for the alum key there so you just tighten them in and it nips into the bar as well so they're all come all these come with like the little screws already on so i think we've probably got eight nine there's probably about 12 of them swivel clamps Nope, well, here's actually what you get what you actually get because mine is the 18 foot long one and what else we've got in here roof bar connectors i'm not sure how many is in there let's i think there's probably one. Oh, and the alum key there took the way night I look, I better look after that thing. Roof bar connectors there. So you get one roof bar connected with the alum key. And like I say, you just, you know, like that. That, <laughs> I'll have to have maybe a couple of them. What else we got? These are heavy things. End roof clamps. So I'm guessing these are more like a, a T. Are they? Yeah. So, you know, you, if you kind of think your end of your, your, your rod, your middle rod will go in there and that'll be the, the end of the hoops, you know. Again, all those little fittings on. Looking good, looking good. I've just got to make sure I put all these back together <laughs> in the right little order. And timber support clamps. Now, this was what I was worried about. How do I do that? Do you mean because on our old polytunnel, it was a right nuisance. And I seen, well, you get screws in there as well. I seen on the, the, the Direct Plants website how they did it. And that is it. That's gold dust. That little thing there is gold dust. Over the years, so this, so if you've got your door frame, this connects to your, your say, where you, you you end of your polytunnel, you put two of these on and the, the drill into your door frame and support your door frame like that. You know what I mean? So you've got your kind of wood going down to the to the con to the to the soil and you con you concrete it in. That's what I'll be doing. <clears throat> if I just had, and you kind of go and buy these off the shelf. Do you know what I mean? These I mean, you might from direct plants, I don't know, but you couldn't just go to B and Q and get something like that. That's just that's a beautiful bit of design, a bit of kit. That would have just saved me way loads of money, way loads of like propping it up with bricks, hammering more nails in, more bits of wood. Oh man, oh that's gold dust, gold dust. 
So there we go that and I've got a few of them I guess four probably of them as well each with a screw in to kind of make sure it all goes. So that's what you get in your box and like I say just to you know familiarize yourself with all this you know what I mean all of it because your window of opportunity to put these things up we're aiming for Saturday, this Saturday coming, and it might the weather might be right, not right, and I don't want anything of like we're not understanding. Do you know what I mean? I want it to kind of when the whistle goes, we go. <laughs> so I hope that's helped. Just having you give me like a little insight and a little look before you know I kind of I put it up, and it's it's for more, my benefit as well. Do you know what I mean? Like I say, Sean says, just put everything out and just get to understand it because it's you know what i mean there's there's quite a bit you know what i mean and, and if you haven't done anything like this before it's you know it's a little bit daunting but if you just kind of do your homework you know and sean was mentioning that till the end of january if you're thinking about a polytunnel direct plants 10 percent off with the code tony 10 so there'll be a link down to direct plants and the offer code there i'll put that in as well and up until the end of January, 10% off direct plants polytunnels. So, and if not, just go and get some of this tea. Fantastic. Right, well, I think that's it. Now, <laughs> next step's the oh, next step's the building. Look after yourself. Take good care.